Father, forgive us for what we must do. You forgive us, we'll forgive you. We'll forgive each other till we both turn blue. Then we'll whistle and go fishing in heaven. Fish and whistle, whistle and fish. Eat everything that they put on your dish. And when we get through, we'll make a big wish that we never have to do this. Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of the Fisherman Fishing Planet. And we are here at Sanderbagger Sea Lake, Germany, still. And we are going to be checking out a different kind of carp this time. This is going to be the grass carp. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is the first place you're going to find them. Uh, they do not come in unique here. They only come in trophy size. But one of the best places I've been told to find them has been right here in the Lake and a Lake Peg which is to the, I believe, north. It's hard to tell with this map. I think once we get in there, we'll have a better idea if it's to the north. But on this map, it looks like it's north. So, but anyway, we have been doing some changes as far as our inventory goes. I have added a, another bottom rod to the mix. And I've added a carp rod to the mix. I think I had already been using that in the last episode. And I also changed my rod pod holder. This one has alarms on it because last time I didn't have any alarm with the carp rod. So now I'll be able to hear whether I'm using a carp rod or not. And it can hold three rods instead of two. So that's going to definitely increase our odds in catching these guys. Um, Still not sure about what to do with the mixes. I've been tempted to try them, but I don't exactly know how to set them up. So we're going to stick with the way we've been doing it up to now with just regular bottom fishing. But if anybody has some ideas or some mixes that we can try to use, let me know. I know you have to come over here and do it here. This is all I've got in here. I don't really have much anything really, just this pure snow left over from one of the uh, earlier missions. I think it was Christmas, I believe. But anyway, let's go in here to Lake and a Lake. We are going to do a private room. All right, and we don't need to go too far here. We need to just head right over here to this little platform. Now, I have already fast-forwarded the time to 7.03. It's a sunny day. Now, we're getting near the end of the my actual day, so this could change. Sometimes around 11.30 or 12 o'clock, they change this, so might need to keep an eye on that. Anyway, let's go ahead and set our three rod holder rod pod down. And... On the first of the bottom rods, let's see, I have, uh, I was fishing for a tench earlier, so I need to change this up. But we're going to need at least a two-odd hook for all of these. Let's go ahead and get that done first. We may up it from there. And as far as baits go, there's a lot of things they go for. Actually, we can check that out here. Now, I'm going to probably try a few things. Mix it up a little bit. Now, let's see. The grass carp will go for the boilies and the pellets. Bread with honey, sweet peas, corn, pea dough. We, I don't think we have access to that yet. Semolina ball, corns, and peas. The sweet corn and the sweet peas do better than the regular corn and the regular peas. So if you have access to any of those, I would suggest that and the boilies and pellets. But you might still get some of the other carp species with that. So I think on the first one, we're going to put sweet peas. The second one, I think we're going to do... I thought I had semolina balls, but I guess we can go ahead and try the bread with honey. And on the carp rock, we can use actually sweet peas as well, if we so desire. But I think I'm going to put these citrus sinking boilies, because they're sweet tasting. 
see if they go for that. I have not tried it, honestly. This is my first time I just purchased it. I thought a sweet tasting one might be something they go for since they go for the bread with honey. And there we go with bread with honey. I'm going to throw this way out there. Now we're at the low end of the peak, so there might not be a whole lot of action right off the bat. So I think I'll throw this one a little closer in. Yeah. Something's nibbling at it. Now let me take a look at the map here. Now if we look at here... Well, we are getting a bite. Two bites already. Well, he's not that serious, but this guy is. It's alright. It's alright. Alright, we got him. Citrus sinking boilies right off the bat, guys. Let's see what we got here. The other one gave up. I think we got us a regular carp here, though. Yeah. That's always a possibility. So... I think I had that one thrown away. No, well... Well, let's take a look at the map here. Yeah, see, it's pretty much shallow all the way across here, so it doesn't really matter where we throw it. I'm going to throw it right at the head of that island there. There's a small little strip of an island out there. Okay, our friend's back. He just keeps pecking at it. Now the leaves... Man, these things are popular. I think what I might do is size the hook up to maybe a 4 aught. Maybe we can get a bigger carp. If that's what we're going to be getting is just a regular carp. Yeah, the carp don't come in unique, except for the big heads and the silvers. Trophy is as big as they get. I think you have to get the weeping willows to get to the unique ones. I can't remember if there's a unique one in San Joaquin or not, but it looks like we have this leather carp here. Yep. Yeah. That's a nice leather carp. Throw that same spot. And he just keeps pecking at it, but doesn't want to take it all the way. That's weird. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and throw something on this one. I think I might go with a little bit bigger hook. Put it at about 60 inches, a little deeper than normal. Now I have tried everything except... Oh, I do have some Alina balls. I'm sure that I had them. I can't get a good long cast off of this, but... Might have to get a bigger bigger bobber one that will make it cast a little farther. First let's see how well it does.
Well, we are getting a bite off of those. Might have to try them on some of the other... There we go. Wow. Okay. Not bad. I think we have some mirror carp. Yeah. That's a nice one. Not too bad. Yeah, I think I'm gonna change that bobber. It's just not getting me the distance. I think this is a little bit heavier, plus it's gonna be getting night hours, so maybe I can get a little more distance. It's not really going out as far as I'd hoped. Oh well. Yeah, it's real shallow right there. Well, they're just fiddling with that, but this is really doing well. I might change the baits that are on those to some, this, to be honest. Bites on two of them here. Shoot. Okay, this one seems a little more serious. Now that one is. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to switch these and see if I can't get this one in a little ways. Whatever this is, it's not big. Good lord. <laughs> ah, I lost him. Ah, I should have just let that one go. Yeah, I think I'm going to put the semolina balls on here. They're definitely going for that. There we go. This is off the sweet peas. Let's make sure that's tensions down all the way. Okay, we can go up a little bit. Yeah, I think we got us another mirror carp. Or leather carp, I can't. New personal record leather carp. He's not a trophy. I guess I haven't gotten one yet. Let's see, I had that one right over there. Oh, wait a minute. Right there, that's where it was. Got one off this one again. Oh, and we got one off the floating one too. God bless it. Seems like it's taking a while to reel him in. And he's really going nuts. 
Another new personal record for the leather carp. Ah, wasn't all that much to speak of. Yep, young common. Okay, now we got something, I think. This is either... Well... See, this route is so heavy, it's hard to tell just how big this guy might be. This is a very strong carp rod. That's just a regular common carp. No trophies yet, guys. But we are catching plenty of fish. That does not seem to be an issue. guys I just basically threw a bunch of things together I really don't know how to mix these what the concentrations are any of that apparently there's quite a science to this <laughs> I am very much unfamiliar I'm sure many of my um, European friends know how to do all this since they are masters of this type of fishing but not my forte so let's go try it out anyway since we are in that area Okay, looks like we're getting a bite off this one anyway. Uh, whatever this is, it's not very big, but maybe because we need to upscale our hook a little bit. Bigger the hook, the bigger the fish. Yeah, I think we have another young common carp. Let's take that up to a four aught. We'll throw that back out there. Like I said, I just do something together. I'm using a flat feeder here. I haven't figured out the other. I think apparently I need a lot of components for those PVA things, whatever they're called. I do have one of these hemp sinking pellets on here. I'm going to see how that does. I would think the grass carp would go for that. Between that and the other stuff, maybe we might attract something's interest. Now we are getting into the night time, which is actually good carp fishing time. We are getting a bite off that new ground bait I just mixed up. 
Let's see what we got here. The hemp pellet and this. Let's see what the heck have we have gotten here. Looks like either a leather or a mirror carp. Nice big one. Nice good good size leather carp here. Not bad at all. Yeah, it has to refill that thing. It seems to be that we're getting the leather carps more than anything else. Oh, wow. Oh, it was snagged. And we probably lost our bait. Yep. Got some shells. Sander bagger, sea cleaner. Let's see, maybe we could change this up a little bit. Yeah, let's try some sweet peas this time. There we go. This thing is going after it again. Like I literally just threw this together. I really didn't have a clue what I was doing. I think we got us a little young common carp. So we got one on number three here. And it is the one I had prepared. You're next. We are going to try the sweet corn as well. This one seems to have a little more oomph to him than some of the others did. The night fishing is definitely better. Let's see here. There we go. There's our first grass carp, guys. Got him off the hemp sinking pellets. We will keep him. And we are going to mark this guy so that we know where to find him in the future. Go ahead and mark that. Two rods at once. Looks like we got another one before I can even change over the bait here. They're still going after the peas. Still haven't gotten a trophy, amazingly enough. They've all been common sized. Yeah, I'm going to try the sweet corn this time. Let's see what we got here. I think we might have another grass carp. Yes, we do. 
Well, they definitely seem to be biting at night, guys. There you go. That may be the only one we get. So we might as well get a good look at one. Alright, so we got that one off peas. Let's upsize the hook to a 4 aught. And I'm going to mark that spot too. I'm going to mark that spot over here. See, I got one there. And that there. So you can pretty much get them in a number of spots, it looks like. But they are way off in the distance. In both cases, they were way over here. Okay, we'll throw this one out here to that one. Okay, which one is that? First one. Yeah, this one I'm going to switch over to corn. Put that one out about the same distance. And the one with the hemp, that one is going to go where I caught the very first one, right there. It looks like it's on the other side of the shore, but actually it's not. It's closer to the middle. Okay, now we've got something here, guys. Finally. Yeah, this is this this is a big fish here. This might be our trophy of some kind. Not a grass carp, but it is something big. Oh wow, trophy mirror carp. 2308, 24 pounds. Take a look at this guy. I know it's going off in the neck. That's a good sized fish. There you go. It's the biggest one I've gotten yet. Well, I lost that fish, but I don't think it really matters. It seems like we're still getting bites. Now, we didn't get the trophy grass carp, but the trophy mirror carp, I'll take. Getting activity on the, more than one front here. So we've gotten them off corn, we've gotten them off peas. I think we got us another mirror carp here, or leather carp. Oh, nice. Trophy leather and trophy mirror. The biggest you can get in the lake, guys. All at one time. 
Now he's not as big as that other one, so I can't hold him like I did the other one, but still. There we go. That's a better look. Still a good sized fish. Definitely keep him. Well, nothing like the last minute here. That guy is determined. He keeps coming back. I think we might have lost the bait on this one. Yep, we did. Darn it. And another good size one. Yeah, if he finally takes it under, I think I'm going to have to pick it up. Common carp. There he goes, finally. Oh, yeah. I knew he was worth it. And a decent leather car, but not a trophy. I thought maybe he was a trophy, but still, I will take him too. Well, guys, it looks like the grass carp of the trophy size has eluded us, but we've gotten just about every other kind. Yeah, if you check the fish species here, they check off which ones you get. See, the trophy is still eluding us, but we got the leather and we got the mirror. And if I'm not mistaken, we also got the common. is this way if I'm not mistaken yep young common trophy so we've got every size of every carp except the trophy grass carp so that's our final goal it was our main goal for the night but we still haven't gotten it so but it seems like this is the prime time here guys I did fast forward to this point this is the best time to fish for these we do have a little bit more time, so I might go ahead and fish a little bit after ending this episode. And if so, I might start another one. We'll have to see. But anyway, guys, let me see where the money lies at this point. 23,656 cash. Can't beat that. That should take me almost to 100,000 again. And that's a good spot to be but anyway guys as i always say aim straight cast far and have fun i will see you later